Welcome back guys to Jared the Journeyman. On this video I'm going to show you guys how to use the Pi Triangle in Ohm's Law. Um, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, take a look at my last video I made explaining the Pi and the Ear Triangle within Ohm's Law and how to solve for that. So let's get down to the notepad and show you how this works. Alright guys, remember we're going to be using the P I and E out of the Ohm's Law wheel. So first off, let's remember P, which equals wattage, or watts. I, which is current, amps, and E which is voltage or volts. So with that, let's go ahead and build our, our um, triangle. P, I, E. Build that triangle just like that. And there you go. With that, you can figure out uh, six of the formulas. So let's go to this first um, question up on top. What is the total power consumed when 15 amp load is connected to a 120 volt circuit? So well, P, I, and D is what we need to use. So, what is the total power consumption? So, power consumption is measured in wattage. So, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for wattage. So, with that, we'll put a question mark here. Consu and let's continue. Uh, consumed when a 15 amp load. So, 15 amps. We already know amperage is measured in I. So, here we've got for I, we have 15. And 15 amp load is connected to a 120 volt circuit. So E is volts. So there's 120 volts right there. So with that information, we can come down here, cover up on our on our triangle here. We can cross out the P because that's what we're looking for. And then, then we're left with I times E right here. So I at 15 times E, which is 120, equals P, which is the wattage that we use. So the power consumption there, <clears throat> you just multiply 12, uh, 120 times 15, I believe it's 1800. Let me check my math. Yep. And that's 1800 watts. So right there is how we use how we use the pi triangle. Now let's go let's go to the next one if I can figure this one out. I'm gonna get my screen to come up. Maybe. Alright, let's just erase all that. Alright, let's go to our our next question there. What is the approximate current draw of a 240 volt circuit connected to an appliance with a reading of 4,500 watts? So, let me redraw this. P, I, E. You guys get used to drawing this real quick. Maybe you get to where you won't even need it. So P, I, and E. So we'll, let's see, we know approximate current, current draw, which is I, is 240 volts. Um, and it's connected to an appliance with a, with a rating of 4,500 4, watts. So we know wattage is P. 
So we're looking for E. So with simple math, we come over here. We know we're looking for E. So we'll just cross out E on our triangle. So we're going to have to divide I into P. So, excuse my old school math. 240 divided into 4,500, which equals, which equals 18.75 amps. So that's pretty simple once you learn how to use the formulas down here, once we learn how to use the triangles. With that, it's a, that's as simple as it gets, guys. We just need to practice and be able to recognize what P, I, E, and R stands for. If you There again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to my last videos and uh, I explain that. So if you guys are having problems figuring this out, reach out to me. I'll help you out. Uh, send me a message, um, DM me, whatever we need to do. We'll get it worked out. <clears throat> and But besides that, guys, simple as can be. So for now on, um, just remember your pie and your ear, and you'll get it figured out. So that's all I got for today. So you guys be safe out there. Thank you, and have a good day.